Alright guys, so today's video was completely unplanned as you'll be able to tell by the lack of clips that we actually captured. It's also going to be laid out completely differently to my normal YouTube videos to give you the best perspective of what happened as possible. Also, most of the photographs and videos have been cut down and their faces have been blurred out for legal reasons only. I'm sure you will have many different questions on how this seems legit or how this may seem fake, so make sure to leave them down below, I'll get back to as many of you as I possibly can. And I can guarantee you this video is 100% true, I swear I'll be telling you the 100% truth of what happened. I didn't even want to have to make this video, but this is the story on how me, my friends, Liam, Brandon and Chloe nearly were murdered whilst exploring an abandoned mental asylum. Just before we start, I'd also like to say that we are entitled to use all of these clips in the video as it was for my own safety. I'm only trying to give you guys a good perspective on this video and show you not to go to this place. Also, I must be very careful from what I say in this video, so I'm going to give it my best shot to give you as much information as possible. And I want to emphasise that this video and me explaining to you has no exaggeration whatsoever. It is detail to detail and exactly what I saw and exactly what I experienced. On Monday the 2nd of January 2017, me and my friend Liam, he has a YouTube channel named Hey It's Liam, his link's going to be down below as he's also going to be explaining this story. We travelled up to North London to a town called Radlett. Now this is a place where there is an abandoned mental asylum named Harperberry Hospital. Now honestly we have been here a couple of times before, doing no harm, breaking no rules, we entered the site and explored the abandoned building and filmed my first video. Now as known, the place is like a tourist attraction. A lot of people come here, a lot of people walk around there with their dogs and a lot of people like to explore it as it's well open, there's no security on the site and there is no one that can really stop you. I'd like to state I do only trespass in these buildings which is only a civil law. I do not break anything, hurt anybody. I literally film YouTube videos, which is breaking no law. Now out of the blue, at about 3 p.m. on Monday, we saw an old woman walking around the site. My first reaction was, whoa. Why is a middle-aged woman 40, 50, 60 with a walking stick showing that she could be disabled walking around an abandoned building? So as you can see off the side of me, this is a Snapchat that I posted on my Snapchat story wondering why she was here. But then I led on to record a video, again, out of shock, why she was here. All right, so me and Liam back this abandoned building to burn the Ouija board. Old lady is just exploring it. And then I also posted a photo of her in the building to give complete evidence that she was exploring it. Now on her way out, she walked past our camera equipment and she asked me and Liam if we had a cigarette. Neither me or Liam smoke, so we did say no and we asked her what she was doing around this building. She then said that it was like a second home to her and she loved walking around it as it's so peaceful and she really enjoys the place. She's been coming here for ages. We then asked if she was scared as it was coming on dark, she was on her own and she was just walking around. She said no and that she'd had suicidal thoughts before. But hey ho, we were polite, she walked off and we continued filming. It was about 4pm at this point, we walked into the building and as you can see here, I was recording my intro to a video that's coming out in a couple of weeks. She walked into the building again, behind the back of my intro. Oh, As you can see, she said hello in a politeful way like she'd never met us before. We thought no harm of her, we went upstairs to film, she was downstairs to film, but whilst filming, we heard some whistling. Now, we assumed it was this woman, so as soon as we filmed, we left the building, knowing she was still inside. Now, just before we packed up and left the premises, Liam had dropped his phone charger on the floor in the building, so Liam walked back in to get it. It was about 4pm at this point, which is getting quite dark, so it was quite scary around that time, so we did want to leave. All of a sudden, whilst Liam picks up his charger, he screamed my name. He was screaming distress. I had a thousand pounds worth of camera equipment, tripods, mics, lights all over the floor ready to pack up. I didn't know whether it was a trap to go in to see him as a prank or something, but I picked it all up and walked towards the entrance. Then I heard someone running at me and I heard banging. I stepped back, Liam ran out with tears down his face telling me to run. At this point I was shocked but I grabbed all the stuff and we ran across the field out of the entrance onto the main road and Liam then told me that he had saw a man with an axe. Now if I'm honest with you, I did not believe him at this point, apart from his reaction, because he has never given me that much of a scared reaction before in his life, and we thought, he's lying, so we decided to return. 
Saturday the 7th of January 2017. The same thing happened. We took a trip to Radlett, North London, and decided to go back to Harperbury Hospital. This time I was with Brandon, a friend, UK Urbex, Chloe, a friend from college, and Liam obviously living near the premises, we met him there. I, myself, from what Liam gave me as a reaction, was quite scared. We filmed a video after the place was clear, and we walked to the abandoned tunnels to film an overnight video where we were gonna stay there overnight. Unfortunately, we saw a security guard and a dog, which I'll insert a photo here right now. We saw him from quite a distance, and this obviously wasn't the photo that we took then, so we ran off the site. We saw the woman again. The woman that we saw before exploring the building, the one that was in there when Liam supposedly saw a man with an axe. I walked over to the woman politely and greeted her. I said hello and how are you as we'd seen her before. She was very polite to us to be honest and I decided to question her on the story that Liam had told me. She backed Liam up and said she heard screaming, which means Liam still may not be telling the truth. I also heard screaming, but she also told us that it wasn't her that was whistling because she can't whistle. It started to get a bit dodgy because she getting more into detail of what she may have seen and what she was doing here at this point. So as my camera was around my neck, I clicked record and recorded as much as I possibly could. But like, so, so you, you definitely 100% didn't see any man with any axe or anything? Didn't see him, I heard the screaming and that was it. I just and then after him. that screaming, what did you hear? Obviously, because we ran off, did you hear anything else? Or? Didn't really hear anything else, but I just carried on, wandered around the lower parts of the building and then just left. Yeah, because obviously, when he saw this man, like I didn't know because obviously he started screaming. Then as you can see in this photo of the woman, Look closely in the background, which we did not think of at all until we saw her pick it up. Woman picked up from the bushes a large axe. You can also see video footage of her picking up the axe in this clip. Should we go stand in the field or something? The, see? Tunnel, the tunnels are quite interesting because they, um, they lead to the other buildings on the side. Have you been in the tunnels before? Might actually cut some wood down from a chimney as well. Me. Fair enough. Yeah. Oh well. Do you bring the axe all the time? Not all the time, only sometimes. Oh, so what, what if the police like um, come to get you out of the building? Now she walked off while she was on the phone and I heard her whisper into the phone, there are four of them here. Now that made me think something was going to happen. There's only two ways off the site. The first way, through a gate round the back. The second way, security. Brandon headed off to security. Me, Chloe and Liam, stupidly, we're going to walk towards the woman who was standing at the exit with an axe. We decided to run after Brandon and catch up with him. Alright, no joke, that woman is back here. Liam saw someone with an axe before in an abandoned building. Guess what? She has a fucking axe. Fucking gone wrong. Yeah, this has gone wrong. There's a fucking security with dogs there and a mental woman with a fucking axe. What is happening? We went through the site and met up with the security guard that had the dog. Huh? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. About 50. Axe. We live somewhere here. Oh, oh shit. But we kind of want to get off without going that way because she's standing at the gate yeah. with an axe. Yeah, we can leave from the end of line lane. Yeah. Right? Okay, I'm going one more time. I'll, I'll check yeah. it out. Okay. Without much detail, we explained what we saw and we politely asked to be escorted off the premises. He sent us to another security guard who was an Indian man, as you'll now see in the clip here, who now took Liam's camera off him to see the footage of the woman with an axe. The Indian man said he was going to call the police on us and take our cameras away as we had footage of inside the building if we didn't leave right away. So we attempted to leave and the man with the dog then told us we could go back on the site as long as there was no one there. Go this way. Yeah but he, the man, he, he shouted at us and said no. Well, just ignore him. Yeah. Will he call the police then? this way. Shortly after that, we walked around the main road to the entrance where the woman was standing with the axe, but she was gone. Me and Chloe sat on a log whilst I was taking some photos of Liam. Brandon walked off to see if he could find the woman with the axe uh, as he's quite a confident person and he wanted to know if it was safe to go back in the building and continue recording the videos. If you can see, Brandon is walking there between the trees. 
trying to find this woman with the axe. Whilst taking a photo of Liam, Liam jumped in the air and screamed. Me and Chloe panicked and picked up our stuff and went to Liam. There was the woman walking fastly towards us and the man dressed in black with a ski mask on, a black hat, a black cape with an axe in two hands, shouting and running towards us. Now my reaction was not to stand there and film, but this is the footage I did get of us running away for our lives. I genuinely thought us three were going to die. He's fucking running at us. He's running at us. He's fucking... I'm not even joking. He's running, I promise. Where can we go? Do the tap. No, not right, not right. Oh my God. Oh my God. The man ran at us. The man ran at us with an axe. He ran at us. <laughs> Quickly get out of sight. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Right, call a cab. Brandon was behind them. Now we ran around the close and we got Liam to book us a taxi. Right, so we've just got a taxi. I had no footage of this man running at us, I promise. His, mate, his face was fully covered up. He was with the woman and he fucking ran at us and we just pegged it. I just shot my fucking self. We've hidden in a, in a close, like where are we? We've ordered a taxi. This is not fake. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I can't let you or me get hurt. I'm, look, I'm shaking. Hopefully you can understand that I have no footage of them running towards us because I wasn't going to risk my life standing there filming them run towards us when I could have run and got away. We ordered a taxi and took it to the station. We looked out for Brandon on the way but we couldn't find him. So Brandon later on got to the station because we ordered him a taxi. He had no charge in his phone, we didn't want to leave him behind but I'm sorry we were not going to go back when we thought he may have been making videos of them or something, having a laugh with them or even if the man was going to kill us. Brandon went to security and charged his phone and here is what Brandon had to say when we met him at the train station and interviewed him ourselves. I decided to walk over to go and see if this crazy lady that we'd met earlier with the axe had left her axe on this little pile of dirt. So I go over there and I look around, no one's there. I turn around to get my own portable charger out my bag and, um, and then I look back and she's there except she's holding a hammer and then some seven foot tall side a hammer yeah she was holding a hammer like a claw hook oh hammer. my you're joking no Where the fuck did you get that from i don't know i don't think it was a joke to be honest the woman i spoke to her we spoke to her on multiple occasions and she did seem like she had something wrong with her i turn around and i see them two there the man now has the axe and um and they're walking past me and I don't know what to do, so I back up into the field because I was feeling a bit kind of you know, worried about what was actually going to happen. Oh, and the tall guy, he looked like Slender Man because he was really tall, really slim. He, he was wearing sort of like a suit type thing, he was all in black. The person Liam saw last time, definitely. Yes. When they started running at us, what happened? Because we don't know yet. We... Obviously, they started laughing and then the man started running at them. I was still in sort of the field area. The man starts running at them with the axe. So obviously, naturally, they turn around, they see this and they run away. I, I thought, right, well, do you know what? I'm not gonna try and get in front of them and catch up with you guys in case they decide to chase me and I can't run very fast. I have bags as well and I'm wearing boots. Sportsdirect.com And, um, and so I think, right, I'm just going to sort of play the card of being nice and uh, trying to make friends with them, which obviously I didn't, but I just stayed way back. They walk down to the end of the lane, having chased the others away. Then they go round the corner to the left, and as soon as they get out of my sight, or at least they think they're out of my sight, they start running. And they run and they get in their car and then they drive off. What, did they go left? Yeah, they, they right. no, no, they went round the corner left. And then after that, they went off to the right um, along the road. Because I'd, I'd heard them get in a car, I didn't know if you'd got in the car with them or not, and I was sort of concerned. With about, them? Well, I don't know, they might have made you. They might have like, put the axe, like, you know, threatened you. Fuck it, now. We I'm happy to be at a train station now and get out of this town, because it was literally like a horror movie, wasn't it? I, I'm not coming back. 
So I've hyped this story up quite a lot on social media the past couple of days. I've got as much proof as I possibly can. My Snapchat was distressful. I was filming myself without my camera, screaming the shit what was going on. That is a pointer that I'd like to say. We walked over to security and gave ourselves up. Who does that? Unless they are scared of something. If you want to leave some comments down below, ask me some questions, or make sure to Instagram direct message me, or tweet me at lsclarky. It's going to be on the screen right now do so. I'll reply to as many as I possibly can. Make sure to add up my Snapchat. It's going to be here. Do not forget to add up my Snapchat because then you'll be able to see things like this that happen that are posted live. If you watched the whole of this video and you're watching it right now, comment down below the word tasty sausage and I'll reply to you because you're a true active supporter that watched the whole video and I really do appreciate that. This has thrown me off exploring videos for a while but I have some in the bank ready to upload and I'm also going to be recording a couple more very very soon so do not worry about that. I'm not going to say if you did enjoy, leave a like and all that because it wasn't a video that I enjoyed making because I didn't actually plan on making it. It was not fake or anything. This was not planned. It was all captured at the same time. Hence why I'm sitting here talking to you right now. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me. I Hopefully you are on my side. Check out Liam's version down below. And yeah, smash a like on this video. Till next time, I'll see you next Sunday at 6pm. Make sure to turn channel notifications on so you get channel notified whenever I upload or I go live on YouTube, which I have been doing quite a lot recently. And also I have a vlogging channel, which is nearly at 2 thousand subscribers where I upload a vlog every single Monday at 5 p.m. Subscribe to that. The link is going to be down below. And again, all my social media links will be down below. Thank you so much for watching. Turn channel notifications on. And yeah, peace.